So you don't have to worry about these bolts spinning out because that square in there is actually gonna hold the head of the bolt. Before you assemble this, you want to make sure that this little plastic sleeve will, is all the way up where it's supposed to be. You can actually see there is a through hole. Well, that actually has to align with the hole up here so that your bolt can go all the way through. With that held in position, we're just gonna take our bolt. We're gonna slide one through and then let's grab the other side put a bolt through it. So let's go ahead and grab our third bolt and we're going to slide it through. And then our final bolt, just gonna make sure it's pushed all the way up in. Now for me, it wasn't perfectly aligned. Once I get it all the way to the other side, it's gonna be fine. So what I'm doing is I'm actually spinning it and I'm just simply threading it through the plastic piece that's on the inside. And now let's see if I can get it to align. There. So next we're gonna be putting on our flat washers. Now washers have a rounded side and then they have typically a rough side. You're gonna wanna have the smoother side, the rounded side facing towards the metal and then have the rougher side facing towards the nut. And the reason that you do that is the nut is zinc coated and it can easily be replaced. However, if you cut into the metal framework, that is not easily replaced and that is going to rust on you very badly and can cause you problems. So whenever you do it this way, you prevent your tools from having future problems.